At Minnesota, they have everything from a Heisman to a Nagurski in their rich legacy. And today in Minneapolis, the Golden Gophers hope to add another memorable chapter. We're really looking forward to this matchup. You've got a team that's made its way into the top 25, now trying to pass an all-important road test. As we'll see, the number 25 team in the country, the USC Trojans, taking on a fellow Big Ten foe, the Minnesota Golden Gophers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. The Golden Gophers will put total leather and will get started. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So USC's offense will start this game off. And here's the man they rally around, and he has earned that type of respect, David. You dang right. You earn it by doing it, and he's done it at such a high level. Everyone believes in this young man, and Palmer, there's a reason why. You're right, David. He's been in the big moments, and he's won the big games. This guy delivers when the game is on the line. The Trojans getting it done through the air, picking up the first down. And they always got one of these. A big arm sucker that can sling the ball down the field. You think about USC, that's what I always think about. Quarterbacks, playmakers, Hollywood, Heismans. Cross the 30 out to the 33 and gains four on the play. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Back to pass, it's Moss. Looking left, a strike downfield. Defense on skates that time. They finally drag him down at the 42. I know it's something we take for granted, guys, but the Q did a great job there with the play action fake. He really took his time and sold it. And that's what froze the linebackers in the second level of the defense to help make that completion a whole lot easier. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. Ripping off a good chunk inside the 25, and they're set up with a first down. Man, I really love the way this guy looks when he's toting the rock. You think about all the high school kids out there who dream about one day donning a USC jersey and being the starting running back for the Trojans. There is so much competition, not just in the state of California, but nationally, to come to this school and be the guy, to be RB1. He's on the field for a reason. This guy is unique. He's got speed and vision. What a weapon. He made the stop of the 19 after a pickup of five. I know the passing game sells. The passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw. Unleashes to the end zone. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. Man, these windows get tighter down here in the red zone, and those catches are a little bit more contested, more people near you, and it gets a little bit more difficult. But you need your players to step up for your QB and make big plays. I think he's going to look back and say, I should have made that play. They'll snap it from the gun on third down. Pressure is on the way, and the pressure has arrived, and down he goes at the 30. Man, that's just kind of frustrating for an offense. You move the ball all the way down the field. You got an opportunity on third down, and you can't protect your quarterback. You get the sack, and now it's probably field goal time if you make a field goal. And here comes the field goal unit. He's going to have to get into this one a little bit from 47 yards away. He's got it, showing off that big leg from 47 yards out. I'll tell you, this is not an easy place to play on the road, especially at nighttime. This crowd, they get loud. That's the way it's been so far, but they have a nice drive to open it up. They're able to execute. They put themselves in field goal range, knock it through the uprights. They did exactly what they needed to do, taking a 3-0 lead here early on the road. That's impressive.
So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. He'll start the return inside his five. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. The Golden Gophers offense will go to work for the first time today. As dynamic as this guy is on the outside, Jesse, you know he's going to be peeking that way from the free safety position. Yeah, he's been watching the film. This dude in the middle, man, he can light people up. So you can't tiptoe. You got to be aggressive. And the ball is intercepted. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. You know, after watching that interception, I just wonder if this kid's too amped up tonight. He was so excited to take the field. He thought this was going to be a game that he could stat it up. But he's going to have to do a better job tonight with his decision making. That is not how you want to start a game. Does life get any better than this for an offense to start a drive with a first and goal? They'll try to get it in with the run. Pushes ahead for two to the seven-yard line. They're strong and they're sprawl. The defensive tackles, they're sprawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance when you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad. You tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. And he got a hand on it to knock it down in the end zone. You simply don't see that very often. Quarterback of this guy's caliber missing a guy wide open in the end zone. He makes those throws in his sleep. This defense was put in a difficult spot, but they've made it tough. And now the offense faces third and goal. Looking downfield, it's Moss. Into the end zone. And to the house. Touchdown, Trojans. Well, just as you would expect, that didn't take very long. It didn't, Reese, and you've got to make great field position count. When you've got opportunities, you got to pay it off. And the offense took advantage, scoring a touchdown. Didn't have far to go, but they got the points they needed. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they close the deal with the seven-yarder for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. Hand off to the single back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. That is a great play by the defensive end. The most athletic players on the field play defensive end. Yes, you heard me, Jess, Reese, exactly what I said. Great get off, great job getting in the backfield, making the play. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. He's looking to throw. Fires to the right. And the pass is incomplete. Charred loose by the hit. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. He's going to take off. Oh, they knock it free. Defense falls on the ball. Going to be a turnover. That looks like a really easy thing to do. Oh, the ball's just on the ground. Jump on it. That's an odd-shaped ball that bounces all kind of crazy ways. Great job by the defense covering that thing up. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of bounce, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. 
just inside the red zone. First and 10 from the 19. Looking to move it through the air. Throws to the wideout. He caught it! And he'll go out of bounds just short of the goal line, and they've got it right on the doorstep. What a And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. After taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. The play will stand. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And the D deny them on second and goal. The run up the middle, looking for the score. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. It's looking like they're going to have to throw this one in now on third down, David. And you know the execution just has to be spot on. Timing especially at the quarterback position. And thinking about the defense, they're aggressive in these situations. They're going to play man. They're going to play up tight on you. So I know that. Now how do I counter punch and attack this defense? Oh, and he dropped it. He had a touchdown right in his hand and couldn't hang on. It'll be fourth down. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. And this one ought to be nice and easy, a 22-yard attempt. It is true as he puts three on the board. And they'll push that lead out a little further. USC, 13, Minnesota, zero. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five, and the returner is stopped. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. He had the perfect play to open the drive, and now they'll snap it again from the 38. Pulls it and fires to the left. Still on his feet at the 45. He's loose. Touchdown, Golden Gophers! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. That was a lightning fast drive that ends with a touchdown. If you can string a few more drives like that together, man, we might as well get our popcorn out because we're going to get a lot of score. Lining up for the PAT. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. Just about set to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. 
And got his USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Stopped at the 25 after a five-yard gain. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Quarterback on the keeper. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And that option game can be tricky, right? But nice job by the defense playing assignment football. And watch the linebacker. You can tell. Locked in on the quarterback. Chases him down. Gets to him. And now he gets to him. Doesn't let him break a tackle. Gets him on the ground. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. He wants to take the top off. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. This is a hard game and a hard position to play. But if you're the starter at this level, you cannot miss that throw. No, you can't. And they don't miss that very often. I mean, those are the throws they usually say big plays on. The receiver gets a step, gets open. That's not one that they usually miss. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll be content with the field position, making the fair catch right around the 30-yard line. They'll go to the ground. Finally stopped at the 46 after a 15-yard gain. Well, at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? It's been really hard for this offense in this game to run the football, but they finally break off a big run there. That could be the play they need to really generate momentum and get this run game going. You love to deliver a punch on the first play of the drive. They've got it at the 46 on first down. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. It'll be a draw. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. A third and long coming up here. They go to the draw. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. Now, fourth down. And the Golden Gophers will punt this one away. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. The give to the tailback. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, they're trying to get that run play going to the outside, but it's the defensive end who does a great job winning his one-on-one -on -one and forcing the negative play. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Dropping back, it's Moss. Wide open downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. It's a really nice job out there making the catch. I feel like fans are always expecting one of these Trojan receivers to be in the conversation for being best in the country, right? Because of the success they've had in the past and certainly in more recent years. There's a lot of pressure to play that position now at the Coliseum and at USC, but this guy right here, he has been making his mark on this offense. They'll throw it on first down. He finds his man. Not difficult, not complicated, but early in the game, get in that rhythm, find that time into wide receiver so you set up for success, then you go attack deep later on. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game, now on second down. Takes the handoff. It's Marks. And the Trojans will have a first down. 
For all of the star quality that USC has been built on, good offensive line, strong running game has always been a hallmark. No doubt about it. I think they're built on, you know, the passing game and explosive playmakers out wide, but they've always had that balance at USC. You've got to have a little bit of the boring to go with the glitz and the glamour. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Ripping through the defense and getting it all the way down to the 24-yard line. Doesn't SC always seem to have a quarterback right out of central casting and one that'll pick up a first down for you with his arm? Yeah, and, and it doesn't matter the year. It just doesn't matter the number. It continues to churn out. They find those guys just such an easy place to recruit. When you got that kind of pedigree, you always find superstars at the quarterback spot. Off the RPO complete. And they'll make the stop, and we are headed to the end of the first period. While we're only through one, these quarterbacks have been lighting up their stat line. They are lined up and ready to go and get things started here in the second. The Trojans have moved it inside the 20. Off the play fake. Finds his big tight end. Touchdown, USC! Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. Defense has to be better on the back end. They knew this offense was going to come out, and they were going to challenge them. They were going to try to push the ball vertically down the field. They've now given up two touchdown passes in this game. They have got to shore up their play in the back half. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive and the finisher an 18-yard touchdown throw. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, there's a statement by the defensive line. First down play, expecting run, and they just dominated up front. Beat their one-on-ones and forced a tackle for a loss. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Back to pass. It's Grosmer. Now adjusting. He'll pull it down and run. On the move at the 30. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down. And he slides in safely. It's just so hard to stop. There is no rhyme. There is no reason. He just scrambles around, makes people miss, and the next thing you know, you look up and he's 20, 30 yards down the field and there's nothing you can do about it. From the 44-yard line, the offense snaps it on first down. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. And how about the defense getting home with the pass rush? Playing man coverage in the back end. You need to win up front. Those guys got to get to the quarterback. Do a great job rushing the passer. I can play man when I got a pass rush like that. The first down sack pushes the ball back for this long second down. He's looking to throw. Now improvising. He'll try to do it himself. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. This is a third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Pulls it in. It's Glenn. 
You gotta love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. Whoop de doo. You set up fourth and long. You're gonna get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. The Golden Gophers will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And that punt will sail out of bounds. Let's see where the official spot. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. That last drive, really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball down there. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves them with second and four. To the air, it's Moss. Fires to the wideout. Working the middle. And they got the defense on that one, and they get it to the 29-yard line. Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you. Over the middle of the field, you can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating his guy and making an accurate throw. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Touchdown, Trojans! And they take it in for six more points. And I think in the pre-snap, I think both of these guys were on the same page. They had a look defensively that let them know we can pitch this thing way down the field. I'm going to go run under it and make a big play for it. Yeah, and when I'm the receiver, I'm like, I'm open, right? I'm, I'm going straight down the field, throw me the football. I got the speed. I can beat this guy. You can tell they've done that so much in practice. They knew it was second nature, and they executed it perfectly. The AT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they cover the final 29 yards with that touchdown pass. They're lining up to boot it away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Back to the ground with the running back. Hines is way ahead for five, and now they've got it at the 28. I know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited. The fans aren't going crazy. But those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. Again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout so you get tired and get worn down in the fourth quarter. Wide out in motion. On third and short, just trying to get enough for the first down. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. Well, they needed two yards to get that first down. That's exactly what they got. Great job of execution. No secret about it. Just got to be physical, get a hat on a hat, low man wins, all the cliches to get that third down and short. And the Golden Gophers will snap it on first and 10. Cross the 30 to the 35, and that's a gain of six. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Got six on first down, now a lot of options on second and four. From the gun, they'll try the middle. And he is swarmed under a host of defenders there to make the stop. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to run for it. And he gets it done on third down. They move the chains, and they'll mark it at the 44. This is 
an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. The Golden Gophers have this offense rolling. They'll run it from the gun. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Run game is good. Balance is good. Now listen, if the run game isn't good, then you got to pass the football a little bit more. But sometimes you got to keep them honest, take them chunk by chunk. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Taylor has it. He breaks a tackle. And he showed off that stiff arm as he had a decent run. This running back just doesn't go down easily. It's just difficult for defenses to get him on the ground. Not overly huge, but if I'm an offensive coordinator, I'm going to continue to find ways to feature him and just, uh, you know what, let his talent do the rest. They come to the line three yards away from the first down marker. They've converted twice on this drive. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Yeah, and that's a really good job by the defense because when you get in that third and medium area, listen, you got to be worried about the run and the pass. Did a good job playing both, got it stopped, now forcing a fourth down. And the Golden Gophers will try to pin them back with the punt. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. And the coverage team surrounding the ball. No chance for the return man to get in there on that one. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. Toss sweep to the right. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Tried to play it conservatively there. Just get something moving forward. Instead, they got knocked in reverse. And now you're in danger because you're only on your one-yard line. You may have to throw the football, but you better have a clock going on. This defense, they're going to be coming like they did on that last play. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. He'll pull it on the read. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal game. And it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. Make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And the Trojans will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He gets it away from his own end zone. Slips through the line. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. Minnesota has it back in the gopher offense is headed onto the field. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown in their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. They'll snap this one from the 30 on first and 10. He's looking to throw it. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for his second down. Got to give the defense a lot of credit, man, because they've come into this hostile environment. And they've quieted the crowd down with some of the plays they're making. They've got a nice lead right here, and they're making it hard for this quarterback to go to work. Here comes the offense on second down. Off the bootleg and rolling out. Unloads to the wideout. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe. And how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. When you're going to run a comeback route, you've got to sell like you're going deep. And that was a great job there by the receiver, really making that corner think he was running deep down the field. So we got the corner to turn his hips, turn his shoulders, and then the receiver was able to just pivot around to make it an easy pass and catch. Keeps those legs churning for three yards. He's down at the nine. Yeah. 
second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Back to throw, it's Grosmer. He caught it! And he will score! Touchdown, Minnesota! Man, nice job getting the passing game going. This, this is big, man. Going to the half, and listen, I know you're trailing, but building some momentum. Maybe this second half, we can keep airing the football out, cutting into this deficit, and who knows what the heck will happen. Getting set for the point after. Smashes it through for the PAT. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they cap things off with a nine-yard touchdown pass. Trying to get back in this game with that last score. It's a 13-point game as they're set to kick off. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. Well, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game, you're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. That big play is just what they needed. Now they have it first and 10 just outside the 40. He wants to throw. Got the quick pass. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Well, that's one the DB, I think, would like to have back. Out route, he was in man coverage. If he could have just got out of his break a little bit sooner, he might have had a chance to intercept that one and take it to the house. That last completion has him set up second and short. Wants to throw. It's Moss. Got his man downfield. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Man, this quarterback is having himself a day. Over 200 yards in the first half. It was hard enough for Palmer to get over 200 in a game, more or less in the first half. The Trojans with the first and 10. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. Time running out. And he goes down at the 34. Well, that defender just was better in his one-on-one -on, -one on the pass rush. He does a great job being the offensive lineman to get to the QB. Really need to pick up some yardage this time on second and long. They'll immediately call timeout. So now on second and long, you start to think just don't fall out of field goal range. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. Great timing there on that throw by the QB on the out route. Gets it to his guy just in time. He makes it. And it looks as if they buzz down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. And the play will stand after the replay booth just does a little double checking to make sure. On third down, he drops the throw. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. And this kicker has had a busy night. The field goal unit is out there for the third time. It is perfect. And now the lead is extended a little further. That makes the score. USA, three, Minnesota, 14.
So they get the field goal, now about to kick it away, and you get a stop here, and you go to halftime feeling really good about things. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. Use the play fake, now to throw. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. I love the defensive effort there. They didn't get him right away. They stayed after him. He was scrambling, going backwards. They get the sack on the first play of the drive. One more snap coming before juice boxes and orange slices. Hand off to the lone back. He'll be brought down, and that's the final play of the half. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, tough to beat the pageantry and tradition there in Minneapolis. And a first half that's been dominated by this special teams unit. How often do we say that? But it's a dynamite group who understands football isn't just about offense and defense. And what they've done through two quarters is help tilt the scales of this game. What adjustments the other sides can make is going to go a long way in determining who wins this game. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Huntington Bank Stadium. And the Trojans will kick it away first and will start the second half. On the move from inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Minnesota has it back and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. Makes the catch, it's Taylor. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Guys at the backfield now, it's not just you run the ball downhill anymore. You gotta be versatile. I gotta be able to trust you in the pass game. And I gotta be able to throw you the football. And you can do that right there. I know you're gonna catch it, and I can depend on you. Now on second down. Trying play action. Pocket starts to collapse. That's caught. It's Jackson. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just Get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. On the move. Still on his feet at the 35. And works it to the 40-yard line. That'll be a first down. You know, you don't need to be an absolute blazer to have success running the football as a QB. You just need to know where to pick your spots. Finding holes, reading blocks, falling forward. This quarterback does all. The Golden Gophers will have it first and ten. They'll leave it with the lone back. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And defense nowadays, they don't look at stats of what is the yards per rush. They look at how many negative plays they can create. Because why? Now you look at second down, man, it just became very predictable for this offense. Nice job creating the loss on first down. Looking to throw, it's Grosmer. Moving, keeping the eyes downfield. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Well, you're making a positive out of a negative. And that time, quarterback, nice job, buying time. He's trying to throw the football downfield. Nothing there. So instead of throwing it away, getting the incomplete, just get what you can get and make this next down more manageable. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. On the run, still looking. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. In the second half, trailing the way they are, they know they're going to have to be able to throw the football to get back into it, but you can't accomplish that if you can't keep your quarterback standing upright. Give the defense tons of credit getting that sack on third down. And the Golden Gophers will bring the punt team onto the field. To 
Running it back. It's Branch. Makes a move. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. Looking to go up top on first down. He's got an open man. Turns it on down the left side. Touchdown, Southern Cal. And the route is on. And with that latest touchdown, he's looking to etch his name alongside the Trojan Immortals at quarterback. Yeah, and there's so many stars that have played quarterback at USC that when they get the ball and they do their damage, guess what? They win big-time trophies. And this guy, you have days like this, week in and week out, you will be recognized as the best player in college football. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. He'll keep it himself. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. They finally make the stop at the big run. There's plenty to move those sticks for the first down. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football. So the quarterback says, you know what? I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive play. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. The quarterback bought as much time as he could, but the defense got to him and sacked him. Well, the problem with the play-action game is that it forces the QB to hold on to the ball just a little bit longer to allow some of these plays to develop. And, of course, that gives this defense longer to get after him. After the big first down sack for the D, it's second down. Looking to pass, it's Brosmer. And he drops it, just took his eye off of it at the last minute. And that's one the offense just needs to be able to hit, right? That's a completion they should be able to hit in their sleep. Receivers got to do a better job. When you've already set your punter out four times, at least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter, and his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Unloads to the right. Makes a connection. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give him a first down. Man, I love on third down when I know I have a running back that can beat guys. Whether you want to cover me with a linebacker or a safety, I can run an angle route and I can have success because my quarterback knows exactly when he's going to break and that defense is not going to beat my running back. At the 40, there he goes. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. The Golden Gophers come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Williams. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. He was not fooled on that one. You know, a lot of times you want to buy space, and you throw this route really when it's off coverage, but you could tell the cornerback was up, ready to come, pounce on that screen, and get the tackle for a loss. Off the bootleg to buy a little space. Got a man. It's Taylor. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible. And sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. But I can throw it to him. I can try to create some space out wide, dump him the football, let him make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out of him. 
to the air. It's Brosmer. Looking to buy time. Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. And this has been the story of the night. The offensive line getting beat up. And this is why this team is losing. you got to protect your quarterback. This defense has had a field day with their fifth sack of the game. So they're going to send out the field goal unit to try a long one. This is a most difficult attempt. 59 yards out from the right hatch. Splits the uprights. Good. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. 50-plus, and he did it with ease. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. Coming out with it, it's Branch. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. They've avoided the interception all day, but they were lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. I love the quick decision the QB made there on that RPO, knowing he wanted to get it out of his hands fast. He just needs to make a more accurate throw. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. The run from the shotgun. Can't get him to the ground. Knocked down after picking up five out to the 24. Listen, that wasn't the greatest run in the world, but it was very successful in making the honor the run. And another thing, every time you run the football, someone gets tackled. There's physicality involved in the game. So I like when offenses commit to the running the football, no matter what the outcome is, because those body blows do add up. Looking downfield, it's Moss. And they won't make the connection, looking to make a big play there. Offenses know and work on it all week. Third downs, third downs. We've got to be really, really good. This offense not good on this third down. It could come back to bite them. The Trojans decide to punt it away. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. To the air on first down. Catch in the middle, it's Jackson. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. And I love when my quarterback sees zone and knows exactly where to go with the football. Sees the wide receiver running the drag route, knows when to throw it, pulls the trigger for the easy completion. After the first down completion, it's second and short. The RPO, fire complete to the left. And they'll spot it at the 45. That's good enough for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off play action on first down. Got him downfield. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. And the Golden Gophers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Off the bootleg, wants to toss it. And that pass picked off. Going the other way, and he's got room. The 30, the 20. And he's going to take it all the way. Touchdown, Trojans. 
I love this free safety and how he plays center field. And oftentimes, he's able to bait QBs into bad decisions. He did it right there. Made the quarterback think he was dropping one way, put his foot in the ground, got in front of that pass, and then showed you the wheels, returning it for a touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and puts one more on the lead. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six and that defense will come out feeling it. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. This possession will be a test after squandering that long drive, throwing a pick six, Jesse. You're right, Reese. Well, I think this is really dependent, too, on the leaders in this huddle right now to step up and help this offense get back on pace here on this drive. Yeah, and this defense is frothing at the mouth. They're excited. They're jacked up. They just made a big play. They got all the momentum, so they're ready to hunt. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Only a short gain on that run. Defense played it well. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. They're bringing heat. Takes a hit as he fires. And here's the third interception of the night. And he has taken it all the way back. Touchdown, USC! Yeah, and we're going to talk about the guy who caught that and returned it for the touchdown. But how about the pressure on the quarterback? You've got to get ways to be physical with him and make him uncomfortable. Nice job hitting him as he's throwing with the football. And then, obviously, the interception and six points. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. That makes the score. USA, 51, Minnesota, 17. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. Fielded in the end zone. It's Taylor. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. And that one's incomplete. In football, you hear the term quick, but don't hurt. Man, you can tell when you run these RPOs, the QBs want to make that decision quick. And he, I think he hurried it a little bit too much. Got the ball out quick, but obviously was inaccurate in his pass. The incompletion brings us to second and ten. They'll run it behind the big guys on the left. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. I think the OC would have been really happy with a small game and, and an easier third down. But how about the effort by the running back to get this close? He, he saw the first down marker, tried to get to it, got close enough now where it's an easy situation on third down. And shoot, and I got fourth down in my pocket if I want to go for it. Can't make the grab on third down, and that is a rare drop for this guy. Third and short like that on your own side of the field, you're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls incomplete. The Golden Gophers line up to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity ladder. Tries to find a little more running room on that return, but he'll be stopped at the 36. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Got it in the middle, it's Branch. 
Nice pick up there. Gets him the first down and sets him up at the 45-yard line. You know, the defense, they just haven't been able to find an answer for this guy throughout the course of the game. Obviously, he's got two touchdowns, picks up the first down there. They've tried doubling him. They've tried man coverage, zone coverage. Nothing working on defense. They can't stop him. They'll leave it with him. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. And the Trojans will line it up on first and ten. They go to the ground. Gets it inside the 30, down to the 27, a pickup of six. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. And now on second down for this offense. As we head to the quarter break, it is USC holding the lead. This has been a complete obliteration so far as the third quarter stats will show you. So will the beatdown continue or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. Running back searching for a hole. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Great team defense on that one play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it, man. Ball's at the 27. It's third and short. Can they avoid making that fourth down decision? Back to throw. It's Moss. Tight end finds a soft spot. And they do a really good job. Not as easy as it looks to get those blocks. And he picks up the first down. Well, this guy's been a go-to guy for this offense all game long. We've seen that and here on a critical third down late in the game with the lead. Guess who shows up with another big one? That guy. Snap's going to come from the 23 on first and 10. Out of the gun, the inside handoff looking for a crease. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. And what you see late in games, man, those teams that can really run the football and run that clock when they got a lead, you really win a lot more football games. So I think that you look for them to be physical down the stretch of this game, try to continue to do this on the ground, continue to eat that clock. On second down, they'll take to the air. Just too much juice on that one as he air mails his receiver out of bounds. You know, it's a good decision by the QB because his intended target wasn't open, so throw it out of bounds, and you can live to play another day here on this drive. Couldn't pick it up on second down. Now they need a couple on third down. To the ground to try to move the chains. The Trojans get enough for the first down. Yeah, and if this offense can keep that rolling, if they can keep the physical ground game and, and continue to add these plays up as they go along, long drives, eat the clock with the lead, this coach will be ecstatic. Now down to the 12-yard line, it's first down. Motion from the offense. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Able to get a couple on the play. He's down at the nine. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Give to the running back. Forges ahead for one to the eight-yard line. 
the big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out with a lot of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. To the air, it's Moss. Fires into the end zone. And he can't quite make the connection as he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity. Yeah, in third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range and they can take the three points on the board. So here comes the field goal unit once again. They've already kicked three tonight. From the left hash, and this distance ought to make that angle pretty easy to handle. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. And that'll add three more to a lead that is already way out of hand. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. That incompletion leads to second down and 10. He's looking to throw. Fires to the middle. Complete downfield. He'll get it up to about the 32-yard line before he stopped and it'll be first down. Just another big play for this guy who spent the entire game wide open, couple of touchdowns there, and he moves the sticks again, David. Yeah, so I'll keep finding him, Reese. I mean, this is the guy that, listen, we're in the second half now. He's already made plays. I know I can trust him, so I'm going to continue to feature him in this offense because I know he'll continue to make big plays. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they have a first down at the 43. Nice route there by the tight end, making it real easy for his quarterback to find an easy completion. And the Golden Gophers have it with a first and ten. The aerial assault continues. And he just threw that one away. Safe move, didn't see anything, lived to play another play. At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. Dropping back, it's Brosmer. They're trying to get to it. Short throw to the sideline, picks up just a little. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. That's a good job by the drag route there, understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making it easy for his quarterback. Trying to move the sticks on third down. He's looking to throw. They'll run the screen. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. He didn't get a big gain. You, you want to call that play and probably want to get more yards, but you could tell that was super close from seriously busting loose. Nice job running the screen, getting the ball to your playmaker. If you could just make one more guy miss, that might have been huge. He's going to pass. Quarterback needs to make a better throw there, incomplete. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here with a big lead in the game. You're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. Really need positive yards on second down. After the incompletion, they'll snap it from the 44. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. 
So an example of a tight end doing a little unheralded work to set up a much better third down situation. And I like the QB here, Reese. I like the decision where I understand, let's get this football out, let's get some positive yards, and then get to third down, and we can still have a better situation now because we got rid of the football and took the yards that were there. Makes the catch. It's Williams. Bring in the heat. Goes out of bounds just short of the goal line, and they'll be set up and in great position here. You know, as the head coach of this team, this is one positive you're going to take away from this game is that your players don't quit, and they're still willing to fight. There's obviously a lot of things they've got to iron out offensively, and we've seen that today. But I do love the grit they're showing here late, still trying to make plays. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Golden Gopher! Hey, good for them. They, they put together a drive. They, they got a touchdown. It, it's been a bad day. I mean, this is a day they're going to want to forget. They're getting destroyed. But at least you get some positive vibes. Maybe, maybe finish this game on a little bit of a high note. A little bit. Ready to try the point after. And it's up and good. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Number 99 sets a kick this one away. And he's coming out of the end zone. He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. They had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line. So they just need to be a little bit more crisp here. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Pulls and throws off the RPO. At the 35, he's got room. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. He has been open all day, and the key to making him a Trojan legend is to just feed him the ball. And the key to every USC team is finding the playmakers, giving them the football, giving them a chance. If they're covered, they're open. If it's man, they're open. If it's zone, they're open. Feed those star wide receivers. After the three yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Out of the gun, the give to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and leading the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. It'll be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. Looking for a crease. It's Marks. They stop him after a short game, probably just wanted to mitigate the losses with fourth down coming. And the Trojans send out the punt unit. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. He'll come out throwing on first down. Fires to the tight end. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. You know, I know it seems like an easy pitch and catch, but for the tight end there, that route potentially changes if it's man coverage. So good job by him knowing it's zone. I'm just going to sit down. This is basically like a check down, right? Let's just take the easy pitch and catch and keep this drive going. Back to throw, it's Brosmer. Unloads to the wideout. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. And he just continues to put up numbers, and that number is now over 300. 
This guy just throws completions, man. The ball doesn't seem to touch the ground. He's back there. He's making the right reads. Right now, he is locked into what this defense is trying to do. Trying to find his man on first down. And he dropped it. And look, for all the world like that would be a catch, and he just got too excited. You know, it's difficult for QB sometimes when you're throwing to your running backs because they're not receivers. You really got to be perfect with the ball placement. You got to make that a catchable throw. A little bit too tough for the RB on that one. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy's had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, try to convert through the air. The Lions just big tight end. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. Uh, uh, the pass, pass, pass. Defense. Defense. So the offense gets an automatic first down after the roughing the passer penalty. Looking to move it through the air. Here he goes breaking the pocket. And the quarterback was trying to extend the play, and the defense brought it to a close. Well, this defense thought coming into this one they could get after the quarterback, but I'm not sure, guys, that they thought they'd have this much success. Everything they've dialed up has gotten home. They've got six sacks in this game. That sack gets this offense behind the chains. It's second down. Looking for a man. It's Brosmer. Moves away as he feels pressure. Going to try to get it himself. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. It's just so nice to have a QB under center nowadays in football. You can trust these guys. You put so much on their plate, and you tell them, go get positive yards when it's there. And a lot of these guys are such great athletes, they do it with ease. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. You know, it's one thing to take shots early in a game when the defense may not be expecting it. But at this point, fourth quarter, you're trailing by a lot. They know you're going to do it. And the defense was expecting that one. Great job in the back end. Down by multiple possessions, they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. Takes a hit as he releases it and just spiked it right into the ground. Offense set on first down. They'll run it. They want to take their time here. Man, that D-tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back. Cat-like quickness. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. The give to the running back from the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, they're just trying to run the ball, but that time there was absolutely nowhere for the running back to go, and as a result, that's a tackle for loss. Even if they don't confirm, picking up a few would give them a decision to make on fourth down. It's third and long from the 45. To the air, it's Moss. Fires left. Makes the grab. Oh, look out! Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. This dude is just exceptional in every facet. So fluid, such a great route runner, and a big play there. And money down, third down, find him. I mean, you want to find that matchup because he's going to win. And he gets a good release, gets down the field. You see, his that's your playmaker, that's your guy. Get it to him, get the first down.
The huge explosive play put them right on the doorstep, and now they've got to punch it in. With the run on first and goal. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. So on offense, you've got to find a way to put six up on the board. You know that in this game, field goals may not get it done. So big-time players make big plays in big games. Who can you rely on right now to get you a touchdown? Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Slams it ahead. Touchdown, Trojans! And the pummeling has started. And you knew this one was over already, but how about an exclamation point to go with it? Another score for this offense. They've had themselves a great day, and the stats just continue to pile up. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. They're just about ready to kick it away. Set to advance on the football. Here's the return from inside his tent. No more room to run. They make the tackle right there, and the clock is at zero, and that's how this one will end. USC, 61, 